Hi guys, Paul here from Studio One Expert, and today I wanted to share with you a trick I've been using for quite some time in my music production in Studio One, that is how to use key switching to cycle between patches in contact. We're going to be using a multi-script that allows you to route MIDI inputs to different channels within contact based on user-defined key switches. It's an absolutely fantastic little piece of software by Orange Tree Samples. It's called KS, or Key Switch Router. And I just thought I'd share with you, it's a contact multi-script that offers a powerful way of combining multiple MIDI channels into a single MIDI channel, allowing you to dynamically switch between MIDI channels by way of latching key switches. It's especially useful if you are using a library with different patches for each articulation. And that way you can access them all from a single MIDI channel, switching between articulations using these key switches, which is pretty impressive. Uh, the first thing we'll do is to go to the download page and grab it from orangetreesamples.com and that link will be, of course, in the description. The KS router comes as a zip file, so just extract that to the desktop and you'll see ksrouter.nkp. This little file will need to be placed in the contact scripts folder, which on a Windows system is documents, native instruments, contact5, presets, multiscripts. So just copy paste the file into that folder. And that's it. So with that installed, let's open up Studio One so we can set it up. Let's skip this part up. And now here we have an instance of contact into which I'm going to load two patches, violin legato and violin pizzicato. These patches by default use MIDI input one and two, which is just perfect. Let's go over to the top right and click the script icon to bring up the script toolbar. Now we go presets, user, KS router. So this is the KS router's user interface. We need to configure it for use. It's pretty easy. Uh, first, we select a starting note by either using the mouse in this wee box or alternatively, we can use MIDI learn. If I click the MIDI learn button and press a key on my keyboard, the script will learn what note we want to start on. And this will be our first key switch. The note I just pressed on the keyboard is A1, and this will trigger the patch on channel one, which right now is violin's legato. Total key switches. We need to specify how many key switches we want there to be. These key switches will ascend chromatically from the starting note. So that would be A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, etc. So in this case, I'd like two, please, for our two patches. My starting channel will be one because my first patch is on channel one. That'll be triggered with A. Second patch, channel two, that'll be triggered with A sharp, and so forth. If we had more patches to load, say a tremolo patch, we'd just add more key switches and they would all ascend chromatically from the starting note. So that looks good. This will now allow me to play both patches and switch between them using the key switches A and A-sharp. Okay, hopefully you find that useful. I use this every single day, all the time. It's part of my orchestral template and I absolutely love it. Many thanks to the guys at Orange Tree Samples for making this script available to us for free, and I will talk to you soon.